Before we do this, do you still stand by everything you've ever said up until now? Yes. Okay. Sometimes I wish I could watch a montage of me and my best friend's greatest moments. That would make it a lot easier to forgive him. Do you have any threes? Go fish. Do you have any tens? Go fish. Do you play Minecraft? Yeah, I play survival mode with my dad. Oh, that's cool. I play creative mode. Then you get unlimited TNT. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, it is. Do you have any fours? Go fish. Do you want to be friends? Okay. I don't care what she says, we're not dating. You're crazy, that's not what I said. All I heard was that she said you're her camp boyfriend, but this year she's gonna get your phone number so that you guys can talk all year long. Yeah, right, like I'm gonna spend my last year at camp talking to girls. You say that every year. This year I'm serious. This is my last chance to see you until God knows when. You know that's not true. What do you mean? Well, my dad needs a new job and he's looking at places like right next to Cedarside. Shut up. I'm dead serious. Shut up, you're lying. I'm not lying. Let's go! Well, don't get too excited. Nothing's confirmed yet. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. You're gonna... You're gonna wake up my parents. It's 8.30. Why are you in bed? We have a college tour tomorrow, one that you're going to. One thing that colleges love is a well-rested student. That's a myth people on Pinterest say. No one sleeps in college. I read that the one thing college students lack is rest. And I'm gonna curb that womp, by going womp. to- That's all I hear is womp womp womp. You're freaking Charlie Brown's teacher to me. I don't care. Let's go see a movie. Do your parents know you're here? James, you know they don't care. You're new here, so I'll fill you in. Thomas is my best friend. There's nothing I wouldn't do for him. But lately, he's been really irresponsible and it's really concerning. Listen, I love James. I really do. Don't think that I don't, because I've known him my entire life, and uh, there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. He just doesn't know how to live, because he just wants to go to school, and then go to work, and then, like, go to bed at 9 o'clock, and, like, you know, progress in the world, and have a little family, and just 9 to 5, and that's just, that's fine, because I, I want that too, but, like, I also want to live my life, you know? It makes sense. It's from his parents. If you knew them, you would know. I mean, his dad isn't a bad guy, but you'd probably cover your drink if he walked by. Listen, I don't know if I even want to go to college. Remember when we used to leave camp every year, and we used to say, What if I never see you again? Yeah, but that's a stupid thing that kids say. <sighs> yes, but this is high school. This is real life. What if I went to college and I never saw you again? That'd be pretty stupid. So let's go to school together, and it'll be like camp every day.
Man, what a night. What have you been up to? Oh, nothing. Nice. We missed you tonight. Oh? Yeah, we went and got some food, but I thought you were gonna come, and then I saw your text. So? Yeah, you know, I just had homework and stuff. Working a little hard, I can see. Well, I was gonna go out, but that would have been irresponsible of me. What? I know what you said, James. I know you think I'm irresponsible and that my family is insane. When did I say that? Don't play stupid with me. I know you think I'm an irresponsible idiot that barely got into a college because of my insane family. Thomas, I'm sorry. I expressed a concern to a trusted friend. Okay, well, apparently you've misplaced your trust once again. Don't be like that. Don't be like what? Huh? Afraid I'm gonna lash out or put something in your drink? That was an uncalled for comment. I'm sorry. Who did you tell? Don't do this in front of them. Did you tell them? Did you tell your mommy? Did you tell your new best friends? What is wrong with you? That was never the intention. Then what was the intention? I'm sorry. I don't know how to get past this. I've been nothing but an incredible friend to you my entire life and now this. What do you want me to do? I don't know if there's anything you can do. Look, if you sincerely apologize to me, over time, maybe, in theory, potentially, I will find it in me to forgive you. Whenever you're ready. Have you ever had one of those moments when everything goes south and you're just left wondering how the hell did I get here? There's been a murder tonight and unfortunately, I'm the main suspect. They're gonna try to pin this on me like a donkey tail carnival game, but I won't let them. I'm just nursing a drink, trying to make sense of it all. Pride and truth are not very good dance partners. You devote your life to being the best friend you can to a guy, and what does he do? He slaps you in the face like a winter breeze right after you comment on how it's not that cold. I feel like my map has been guiding me in the wrong direction this entire time, and I didn't notice until it was way too late. He was closer than a brother to me, which isn't actually that hard if you met my brothers. I can't change the past. I can't rewind the clock. All I can do is stand here on the edge of what used to be our shared world and let go. Even though this was a planned meeting, the knock on the door sent a shiver down my spine. Any empathy I have leaves my body as I look for the nearest weapon. Thomas, you don't have to do this. I don't want your pity anymore. My what? My entire life, you've done nothing but make me feel like an idiot, and I'm tired of it. I'm sorry, that was never my intention. It's too late. You put yourself on a pedestal above everyone all the time, and it's so annoying. Was it out of pity when you slept on my couch for a month? Was it out of pity when I convinced you to go to college so you could have options in life? Was it out of pity that I helped you through every problem you've ever had over the last 11 years and never got so much as a thank you? Why does everything always have to be about you? I'm not doing this anymore! I'm sorry, it doesn't have to be this way. You should have thought about that before you ruined this friendship! Thomas. Please. I wish we were never friends! Wow, 
murdered by my best friend. How about that for an ending? Falling out with people is hard. No need to pretend it's not. The hardest part is I still really care about that guy, and I'd like to hope he really cares about me deep down. It's painful to accept that you're not in control. Of course, this wasn't the plan, but I think it's pretty clear that my plan isn't the one that was supposed to play out. I hope that someday we can work this out, but until then, I'll be playing the montage of our best moments in my head. Thank you.